Hey, love bugs. It's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. Uh, so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if this video gives you good vibe or insight you truly need it give a thumbs up and share would be greatly appreciated send so much love balance light uh upliftment and healing vibes towards your way and thank you for all the support you've been constantly giving me and anybody who's stepping in at any kind of low vibration or frequency and have hidden intentions hey block that and return to sender um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101, Burning Unnecessary Bridges. Y'all, it's like we've been going through, oh, heavy change. And that mess has not been easy. Really hasn't been. You know, you're learning a lot of life lessons through the hurt, the pain, the good, the bad, the dark, the light, all those different things. This is what helped me grow. Uh, being very selective on the choices you choose, you know, just being able to tell yourself, is this going to, you know, when you're moving and, you know, speaking or seeing things is, is like, is that on that vibration of, you know, this is going to be profitable towards me. This is uh, being a great investment on my life. Or if I make the choice to choose through emotions, you know, it's going to be a minor, you know, a major setback in your life. You came so far. You didn't come so far to be, you know, coming so far for nothing. And those are the different situations that you're really allowing yourself to really step back. Because it's like all the stuff we're going through, y'all, um, is, uh, ugh. sorry about that. I'm trying to get my piece of candy. Um, you know, going through those, these choices in our life, the changes in our life, that's hard as hell. <laughs> you know, it's really getting hard. I'm like, dog, I can't deal with this. You know, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Why do things have to be so heavy? You know, why do these, you know, people keep going out the way to trying to convince me of something within my life that's truly not, you know, allow myself to have grace and, you know, faith in my life. Um, and, uh, you know, allow myself to see everything that's beneficial towards my life that I really truly faded, uh, that I needed. And just being able to say anything that is no longer serving me, you know, anything that depletes me, anything that plays fear and illusions in my life, I had to be able to, you know, burn that bridge and never go back. Because a lot of times, you know, it's been for a while where we have all been getting hit heavy with things back to back to back. And um, I must have some cats or something. I'm outside and keep on your night rustling outside. But um, these are the different things that made me invest in myself a lot more. Being able to be selective about what I choose, you know. Being able to understand my vessel, my space is highly sacred. You know, making better choices is like, you know, cutting away from different things that is going to go against where I'm trying to go to. You know, what I'm trying to be within my life, how I'm trying to see things. And a very high perspective, being able to understand these are the different things that molded me. These are the different things that made me feel better about myself. Uh, being able to allow myself to have that blessing in my life and being able to play it for it and sending that towards somebody else. Uh, being able to understand, you know, what, what's playing brick for you into your head? Is it anything positive, anything hurtful, negative? You know, you know what you're going through and you know where different things may be in a, you know, recycled, repetitive, uh, what is it? Repetitive cycle. And it's just like, it needs you to understand this. what is this situation of life lessons, of soul lessons, this is teaching about these different things that went on into your life, or you know, all these things, that, that, uh, all these different things is coming up to be able to allow myself to break free from, being able to make room for what's deserving, you know, stay focused on what I want and not, you know, what I don't want, uh, making better choices about myself, you know, basing my decisions between knowing is it based off emotions or is it based off of logic, being able to hold myself accountable. For any part that I played in my life that was very hurtful, I allowed different things to hurt me that I placed my power in, you know. So everything is coming back to you where it's telling you, take your power back. You know, cut away from different people that are no longer serving you. You know, see the gratitude uh, of attitude in your way of understanding. This was the thing that was going to take me to my next level. These are the different things that I see, the, the real deep lessons on that, that I had to really grow heal uh change my perspective on different things and it wasn't easy you know you're more stronger 
than you realize because a lot of things that's coming into your life where it's showing you you are so much stronger than you realize you don't know how much love that you have within you around you upon you you know and those are the different things that's changing in your life because it's like so many daggone transformation uh trans transformation transmutation is really hitting different and it's like really showing you the truth in anything it's like this is what helps you grow and it's just like what we're going through is not easy it is not you know you're going through your emotions where you're confused you're scared you may be fearful you know stuck in stress and worry you know about things that is unfolding in your life and it's not moving the way you thought it should and being able to understand this is why god made me wait so long this is why the universe made me wait so long these are the different things i had to make better choices about myself because this is either can be a very strong investment or this is going to be a major setback and right now, a seeing that you're fighting the old part of you to balance out the new. And it's like ego is really trying to place doubt into you. You're going through constant spiritual warfare, you know, different things that, that goes on into your life. Where I was listening to one of these videos where it tells you that uh, if you weren't in your purpose, you know, if you weren't in your purpose, why is the devil trying so hard? to make you think the opposite of what you believe in within yourself. You know, being able to change your situation, being able to see things at higher perspective, because it tells me if I didn't go through this, what, I, what would I know that I need to stay persistent on? Because there's a lot of different things into your life that you've been guided towards. God has made promises for you. There will be different challenges in your life that it will be like uh, it's contradicting or this is not what it is. And then when you're allowing yourself to really step back, and understand you're living in your purpose the devil won't be trying so hard to convince you that things are bad within your life you're not loved you're not understood people aren't going to like you when people see your scars they're, it's, it's going to deflect you or people are not going to accept you who, who you are you know not everybody wants to be able to see your authenticity so it's like when that negative base is coming up because there's a lot of different things where i'll make you feel like you're not good enough the only thing is it's like you are overqualified you are more than enough you are loved even when you have to be surrounded by different situations and people that make you feel that way you know and you you have to be able to understand that you know different things is taking place where it wants you to contradict what god says about you they want you to be able to see their ancestors loved ones that passed on blowing smoke up your butt but these are the different things that's showing you you're creating a better version of yourself you're transforming and transmuting from different scenarios that happen to your life that's really helping you grow. And those are the situations that are not easy because there's so many unwanted emotions that's coming up. It will make you triggered. It will make you emotional. Have you said in negative ways? Um, and, it, and it's just like you're trying to deaden that ego. You know, live within your authenticity. Live through love, prosperity. Um, and you're just cutting away from those different things. And it's just like you, you have to be in that vibration. You did not lose anything that you needed uh, in those situations. And it's like with my situation, it's just like I don't regret anything. The only thing I do is miss is being a mother. Um, and being able to allow myself is it's like even when my children don't want to be in my life, you never know that that could be temporary or it could be permanent. And I had to be able to allow myself, you know, even though God knows how I feel about my children. My children are everything to me. But being able to understand if it's meant for them to come back into my life after I took them out of it, you know, it's, it's going to come back. You know, it's going to really come back, you know. And if it don't, you you know, you have to be able to accept of that. Um, anything that is coming in your life that really shook you to the core. And you're being that person that when you're chosen to stop the cycles that are very toxic, karma or whatever, you're going to have everything coming against you to distract you from that. It's trying to distort you from your main focus, uh, trying to uh, place fear into your life to where you feel like you're not capable of achieving these things. But a lot of the times when you change the perspective, it's showing you that you love in yourself. You're, you know, whatever your weaknesses are, you know what your weaknesses are. Maybe you're a people pleaser where uh, people, you'll, it'll make you feel like, okay, if I put these boundaries up or I place this wall up, this person's going to leave me, you know, or these people are going to leave me, you know, why do I have to always go out my way to uh, try to prove the goodness into my life? 
you know, different stuff like that. And you have to understand, people. some people are stuck on that old version of you. They don't want to know that person that, you know, is really standing strong in their truth. Anything, when you're starting to vibration, uh, vibrate on a higher vibration, a positive uh, vibrations, anything that represents something good into your life, it is the negative vibrations, the negative people are not going to want to be around you. Um, if people uh, in your life and you put boundaries up saying, hey, I don't want to talk about that or no, I don't want to do this and they get mad about that. And it's just like, you know, I got boundaries. I don't want nobody to bogart me. I don't want people manipulating their self in my life, uh, in my life. And um, being able to understand, you know, situations like that, when, when you put walls up, it makes people mad when they, because that's their way of intimidating you. That's a way of them um, being you know, energy leech, you, you, energy vampire. But then there'll be some people, when you place that boundary up and you tell them, hey, I don't talk about this, hey, I don't do this, that's letting you know they're respecting your choices. Even if it's degree or not agree. There'll be different ways where, you know, I, I see it this way and I understand that that way. And you can be able to share your opinion to me about that. And it's either, you know, hey, I don't feel that way. Or, hey, what, that person's really talking truth to me. And it's helping me uh, turn around into my life. It's helping me grow, be able to be bigger than life itself. You know, being able to see the power of myself that I really hold something so deep. Because if you didn't know that you held that much power, like you were beautifully dangerous. Okay, you were very beautiful, beautifully dangerous. And, oh, Lord, they told me to write that down. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're going through these different things into your life that is really, you know, really strengthening you. And these are the different things you had to be able to go through to really see uh, the goodness in yourself and being able to appreciate every step that you're going through and being able to understand every time you go to a higher vibration, a higher level up, it's gonna, you have to be able to rearrange, you know, your boundaries, you know, being able to do that because it's like uh, in your situation, it's like everybody's situation, don't allow somebody to come into your your peace that's going to deplete you. You're going through those different things where the universe is blocking those people as well. They blocking it from you, if for your greater good. Rejection is your own protection, and um, being able to understand these are the things that's going to build you to be righteous. You know, not righteous, but just real within yourself. Uh, being able to see the authenticity into your life to see what did you have problem uh, with uh, in the past? Maybe um, negative talk. Uh, self-sabotaging not believing uh, allowing myself to be traumatically uh, tied to other people whether it's toxic karmic or negative you know being able to allow yourself to get out of that vibration of placing fear into your own life when you need to be able to place encouragement into your life knowing there's better things that's coming into your way even when you don't see it now um, and you're going through very tough situations right now because there'll be different things that's coming up that really truly hurt you and it's challenging you every test you have yet every every day you have a spiritual test on how you choose to do different things into your life um it was a different thing that I was going to uh reflect on and you know and share with y'all and have proof of it and it was just like guys like don't do that <laughs> he's like don't do that um Anything that's meant to come out, trust me, it's going to come out. Anything, you know, is taking place into your life is for the better of you, even when it doesn't feel like it is. And these are the different things that comes into your life to always be able to tell you, regardless of what the enemy say, that your life going to be this way, or your dreams are too big, or you're not going to be able to do that, or, you know, I tried this and it didn't happen. And being able to understand those are based off of illusions. Uh, these are the things that's going to help you grow. Now, what do you believe in into your life? Do you feel like you're you're making uh, powerful investments to your life that's going to take you towards, you know, uh, different levels that you're trying to reach or even surpass those different things? And being able to understand, like, really sit back, you know, really, really sit back and just saying, if I didn't have these things, would I really know where my power is? Is it, you know, you're introducing to yourself as your new self. Um, being able to understand we're all in this world where we're fighting you know, from the old to continue to say balance in the new. That's why a lot of times the ego is trying to convince you you're not loved. Your life is never going to change. It's going to take forever for you to get your blessings. You may not even get them. Anything that's self-defeat, 
self-sabotage. It's like, am I focusing on different things that has really hurt me? You know, just want to go back and wish I can have closure. You know, want somebody to give me an explanation, want somebody to apologize. And this is that thing. Anything that challenges uh, or misunderstand you doesn't need to be in your life. Anything that you're trying to manipulate into your life to make it go towards your liking is showing you you're trying to have control over everything. Only God got control of that. Uh, it, it's just like when you're playing cards. You don't know what chart, cards you're going to get, but you have to play it the best way you know how. Anything that you needed in your life, um, you didn't lose anything you didn't need. Anything that you hold pressure into your life, no matter how hard you want to hold on to things that's telling you, stop holding on to different things that's not having a hold on you. You know, stop allowing yourself to entertain people that, you know, don't really matter into your life. These are the people that are helping you, and you're going to have to be appreciative of that because it's showing you what, what, what happens when you don't make the best choices, what, what, uh, what, what outcomes come when you're basing it off your, your emotions or logic or creating something in your timeline that only pro prolongs uh, longer than it needs to be. And it's just allowing yourself to, it's now or never, make better choices. Anything that's coming into your life that holds you back, you're cutting those away, you're burning. There, there's a lot of times where a universal will tell you these bridges need to be uh, burned down, that door needs to stay shut. You know, we go through a lot of things in life where it's very uncomfortable and it's easy to fall back in your own ways it's easy for you to have that negative talk about yourself if things things are not going to turn around it'll be easy when you can go and be in that vibration of what you're used to and this is the reason why god keeps challenging us for that because it's like when i want better in your life i'm, I'm gonna start cutting people out of your life that's going to hinder you from those different things and just showing you you know these are the intentions that they had this is how they felt about you this whole time and these are the different things where it's telling us it's hard but this is at that time right now that, you know, the old is trying to stay stay relevant into the new. Ego wants to be high and in very tense vibe, but you're challenging these different things into your life to where it's going to be very beneficial. So when it's like you're burning these bridges, you know, it's easy for us to go back to ourselves, you know, the old part of ourselves because we feel like this, that, and the third. But then it's just those things that are challenging you to become better, just challenge you to make better choices and um, being able to stay in your boundaries and know that you're, you're that vessel, vessel that's very sacred and they want you to be able to move like that. You know, anything that don't sit right with you in your spirit, you have to be able to let it go. <laughs> you know, so these are the different things that um, you're really going through that's really going to, you know, really, 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 really going to empower you. You know, you're, you're allowing yourself to be, this is what you're, you know, you're in this construction within yourself that uh, is making you better, you know, and it's helping you have those better outcomes into your life that's truly deserving. So it's just like you're just cutting bridges with anything or anyone that is not good for you. That is, you know, it's like the expiration date has overpassed. So it's time for you to be able to let that go. So you can be able to create something new and knowing that if you didn't go through that, this, this is the main thing that is helping you. And a lot of times it's like you're going to have different blessings that come in a positive way or a negative way. But all of these different things on the lesson that you really needed to heal from your soul needed to hear from your allowing yourself to go back towards your life where things uh has really hurt you really triggered so right now a lot of people are going towards healing their inner child these are the different things that stemmed into our life that what created this in a negative way but also can be able to transform in a positive way you had to be able to go through these things for you to really be able to see your truth and that is not something easier to do you know and when you're allowing yourself to move that way, it's very uncomfortable. When, you, when you're moving in a different space or frequency that you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. And it, and it just, it gives you that thing where you feel like, you know, I don't like this. Let me hurry up and jump into something else. And it's just like, you're learning from that because you did, you know, you made your decisions off of emotion. You, you know, you made these poor decisions because, you know, you don't, you, you want to be able to have control over everything. Or um, being able to take shortcuts because, you know, it's very uncomfortable. And it's just like these are the things that you had to go through. These are the different things where you had to choose better, want better, see better, speak better. You know, bringing that into your life, being able to embody that. And it's just allowing yourself to really see 
You know, you're going through these different things where the universe has guided you to be in solitude. So you really get focused on yourself, on that transformation, because you're really doing that. And a lot of times, you know, we go through different things and we get aggravated with ourselves. And you'll constantly hear, uh, don't be hard on yourself. You know, even when it's little progress, it's still par progress. And there's a lot of different things that we may have to really experience, you know, for a certain period of time, just for you to really understand what has taken place into your life. You know, um, you're starting to see clarity from c confusion. You're understanding your pain. They brought purpose. Um, being in the darkness so you can be able to heal through your different things to be able to show you your light was always there. You now you're creating that light at the end of the tunnel. You're doing those different things. You're making choices to where you should congratulate yourself every day, you know, going through a situation where you dwell on a lot of things that's taking place into your life. And these are the tell these are the different things that's giving you that courage to be able to say, This is what I needed in my life. I really allow myself to see, you know, the the deep value of why things are taking place the way it is, is being able to stay authentic, being able to you know, shine your brightness of light, you know, through helping other people as you're helping yourself, sharing your different experiences and views in life that can really be encouraging to a lot of people into your life, but also being open to understand when you're moving in that type of vibration, when you're at a higher vibration, there's going to be different things that's going to come in to disturb that. There'll be different things that'll take place into your life. They really don't want you to achieve what you, you deserve, you know? So it's just like different things will take place in your life to where... God is really working on you through those situations and um, being able to give your confidence and faith back because there's a lot of things right now that's taking place into your life where it's really trying your patience as well as testing your faith. You know, and I had to be able to, I'm like, oh my God, this is so unbearable and these are the different things, but it's just like when you are prepared for something just powerful into your life it's going to have to bring those challenges into your life because, you know, you're letting go of that, the ego, you're letting go of the old person yourself, you're molding yourself to be that best version of yourself. If you didn't go through those things, how can you be the best at who you are? You know, you, would you know yourself on all angles, being able to understand I'm not perfect? You know, I understand the effed up part of myself and I understand the blessings of part of myself. And you can emerge with those. Because a lot of times when we're going through different things, who the heck wants to sit up here and focus on uh, darkness all the time? Who wants to sit up here and think about all the ne negative death, uh, death and defeat into my life when I know this is only making me a better person? I understand this is a situation that's going to really shine light on me to be able to move and rise in my power. And I needed these different things. I have to be grateful for those things. Being able to, you know, forgive myself all of the different things to hold on to because there could be different times where, you know, situations will come up and be like, dang, I wish I would have said this and this and this and that. And it's just like, those are the different situations saying these are the things that's coming up into your life. These are the things that you have to really heal from, recognize, and appreciate what they are. Because everybody plays, everybody and everything is playing into your life for your growth. Because it's like when I see it, when I be deep in med meditation or it's showing me to me, in my opinion, everybody's in their own world. You know, this is it's like, cause I heard it, this saying twice today, well, twice yesterday. Because who was it? Oh, yeah, I was watching the um, Kardashians came on, and it's like, oh, this is the Truman Show. Or I was watching another video, and it said, this is the Truman show, show, where it's like showing you everybody's in their own world. You're healing from different things that has really hurt you. It, it's empowering you when you see that. You, see, you feel a huge transformation into your life that is very confusing, but it, it, it's a, a part of yourself that understands that clarity. It's like, dang, these are the different things that really took place in my life, and it really made me place peace into my life, even when things are very chaotic, being able to understand, I'm going to have my good days, I'm going to have my bad days, I'm going to have different emotions into my life that is going to be very triggering to me and make me angry, but these are the different things that's coming up for you to recognize what's going on, um, and being able to appreciate it for what it, you know, what it taught me, being able to help myself grow, but then it's just allowing myself to you know, when you're going through that healing, even your your, your negativity, you, you know, you like you're getting tired of your own ish. Or I, I remember it was a video that I put out and it's like the next person that leave me, I'm going to go with them too because I'm tired of my own shit. 
And I was like, damn, you know, that's when you know you're truly growing or even when things are coming back up to the surface that was very painful for you and you see it and it's just showing you this is a part you need to let go. And then a lot of times when you know those situations come up and you're getting your feelings, you get hurt, you cry, and it's showing you you can heal from that. You don't need to burden these different things in your life. Let them go. You know, it's not going to be easy, but when you're allowing yourself to go by day by day and being able to, you know, deal with whatever comes your way, whatever come t contacts in your way, um, connects in that way of being able to know this is really set in balance of love into my life, being able to have that peace in my life, even when things are breaking loose in my life. Because it's like when it's breaking down and falling apart, it's bringing something better to replace that. It's building on different things like that. So it can put you in that balance of peace, you know. Uh, being able to see every opportunity, it helped me grow in some kind of way. Every experience that happened is helping me along the way. You know, I brought you on different paths where you choose better, act better, you know, face better, you know, letting go of different people that are not good for your life is not serving, but, you know, making that room for different people that are going to be in your life is truly going to encourage you. They truly want to see the best in you. Uh, not see you as a competition, you know, try to do different things to one up on you, you know, want to see you happy, want to see you grow. Like you want to be able to have a circle into your life where it, it, I can be able to laugh with you, but I also can be able to cry with you at the same time. Uh, not using different things against me that I'm really trying my hardest to be able to heal from. And these are those different things that when you're healing, it is not... <laughs> Y'all already know it is nothing into your life. When you're going through that huge transformation, it will make you irate and it will make you angry. Like, I'm tired of all this, blah, 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 you know, happening in my life. Why does I always have to do this and blah, blah, blah? You know, those different things. But it's just like, this is a thing that's empowering me. These are the different things that give me that courage to cut off anything that's not serving me. Being able to see gratitude, taking my power back that I, you know, subconsciously or unsubconsciously uh, gave away, but also give back those different things that has hurt you uh being able to forgive yourself you know for those different things because a lot of times it's like how why do i need to forgive myself i love myself this and this and that um but then it's just like when you when you're allowing yourself to focus on different things that really depleted you uh, it is allowing yourself to see where those emotions set at at and then it's just like you get angry with yourself because you felt like you should have said something or you know you should have seen it like you're seeing now but it's telling you don't regret those things these are the things that's making you empowered these are the different things that's creating healing for you and you had to be able to go through that and they want you to be grateful for those things because it's really showing you the real g within yourself it really is and so it's just like those th different things that we can really you know resonate with each other because there's a lot of us that are really going through some challenging circumstances you know you're, you're allowing yourself to really see different things where everybody turn their back on you and you had to be able to see that purpose within yourself to be able to say I didn't need this in my life you know this taught me better it helped me move better and being able to uplift myself through those challenging moments because it's like it's not easy for you to go through that but it's just like when you notice that that memory is coming up and how it made you feel and you recognize that like okay this is something that's still bothering me but allowing myself to take that power back allowing myself to forgive myself uh for holding on those different things and it's just like um i know i watched this one video with no meditation where it says that you have to forgive yourself and it's like why you have to forgive yourself i'm not even mad at myself and it's just you allow yourself not to feel it uh not not to feel uh shame or anything like that you're supposed to be able to allow yourself that even when people didn't take that advantage of you know saying this person wants to see the good out of me let me allow myself to be in that connection with them which is really helping me in better ways they're seeing things within me that i didn't see within myself and then it's just like when you allow yourself to stay mad at other people in your life is like you being mad and basing your, your, you know, your anger, your sadness on that person. This is coming from you. You know, this is how you feel about yourself. And you had to be able to understand. I was like, Dad, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, it's just like you're always hurting yourself because it's like, you know, how they say when you do different things towards people and it was very hurtful, very harmful. You know, this is what you're doing towards yourself. And a lot of times when they say, um, it's going to hurt that person more than it's going to hurt you. And it's like, no, that really hurt. You know why I had to go through those different things. And it's just like, um, 
how is that hurting them by doing that to me? And it's just like because they're living through their emotions. They're allowing their self to make excuses up for them having a harsh life. And you have to allow yourself when you see these things for what they truly are. Believing in yourself, being able to understand this is the reason why God made me wait. Or these are the different things that got brought, brought to my attention where I really truly needed to see. And you had to be able to do that. And, you know, not allowing yourself to be a people pleaser. Don't feel like you're obligated to do things. Don't allow yourself to water yourself down for your authenticity. If, if people can't accept you as that or appreciate you as that or, or, you know, grateful for that, they don't need to be in your uh, your vibe. You know, allowing yourself to be in that high vibration, never bringing yourself down uh, towards that low vibration to connect with somebody. You have to be able to be in that mindset. I am where I am right now. Even though I know everything's changing, it's only changing for the better for me. Being able to see even the hurtful things is something that I really had to go through and grow. But, you know, allowing yourself to be able to cut away all those other different things, but also appreciate it at the same time. Um, and just being able to make better decisions in your life. And it's just like you're starting to, you know, burn bridges in that way. Because it's just like, you know, they always tell you, so a lot of times the universe will sit up here and... Uh, Burn that bridge because to see something that's not going to be invest, a high investment for you. So there's going to be a lot of times he's going to close that door. It's like stop going back in the old ways and open that door. You know, don't allow yourself to go back to what God is healing you from. You know, being able to allow yourself to know if there's something that uh, a situation did to me or, you know, a person did to me. You, and, and it was not in that good way and it made me strongly have to heal. You're not allowing that to have access to your life anymore because it's like, you know, uh, we all go through our things and being able to understand everybody going through something You know everybody's dealing with different things and it's just like you're you're creating that new for yourself And that's not something that's good, you know evil not not good But evil. it's hard to be able to do at times because it's like you're on a whole different frequency And it's like the higher you get the more difficult to, things tend to get you're starting to go through test after test after test to see Okay, is this uh, I might have this person treat you ugly Am I going to be able to respond or am I reacting? Am I allowing myself to observe like, hey, they're doing this because intimidation or hey, they're doing this for fear, but then allow myself to change that per perspective. And it's like this person is really allowing me to get to know myself and being able to be putting myself in that vibration of what defines me. You know, am I evolving? Am I appreciating? Do I feel blessed? Do I show, um, excuse me, gratitude? These are the things that help me become better. But it's like you can forgive people because a lot of times we feel like it's hard for us to forgive people because we feel like we're, uh, a, um, what is it, uh, cut off. Oh, I forgot that damn word. When you're becoming, you know, accountable for your different situations, you had to be able to do that and being able to be grateful for these different things that has happened into your life um, and discard anything else that is no longer needed to be here but just being able to see the empowerment of yourself through those hard times and understand what things that's no longer needed or is needed you know being very selective of those different things because it's like opening your eyes and really understanding how far you came how powerful you truly are being able to give yourself credit where credit's due when you're allowing yourself to be confident you know confident and sure within yourself a lot of times it's making it seem like you're being passive or aggressive but just knowing these are the different things i had to go through i know i matter in my life i know i have a strong person here i know i'm sitting in different positions where it's going to hit differently i know i have to be in this vibration where people are not going to like it when they see me grow but i'm keep growing and glowing anyway you know, allowing myself to even pray for my enemies, you know, being able to understand if it wasn't for them, you know, being able to do that. Because it's like when you're going through different stuff and, you know, you're like, why does that person hurt me or why do I have to still be in this situation? And they're telling you change your change your perspective off of that. You needed to go through these different things so you can understand the initial changes into your life that's spotlighting for you to be able to work on. And that's your universal cheat sheet. And when you're going through these different things and really just looking back and being able to allow yourself to not be a people pleaser, you know, do things where you felt like doing or not because you're obligated to do that. Uh, understanding when people show their true self to you, you better believe it. You know, being able to understand, you know, your peace needs to stay 
and peace. You're not going to deal with anything that is going to challenge you to be in a negative vibration. You're not allowing yourself to still be a better person instead of how the world treated you to make you bitter. And these are the different things that you really had to come into your life and being able to say, dang, you know, going through these different things, you know, really helped me grow. Going through these different things that, you know, I'd be really be able to appreciate that. Because it's like when you're going through this stuff, this is not for the weak at heart. When you are standing strong in your purpose, there'll be different things that's going to want to contradict you on that. Different things that's going to place you in a vibe, or, you know of uh, stagnation being able to fear what that person is trying to do to you because it'll be different things that you know it'll be I, I had to be able to tell the difference like you know when I'm doing my videos if I'm speaking on anything is this me put me put my power into something that I gave my power to it didn't not need that you need your own power you don't never give your power away from those different things so I had to be able to allow myself to change my verbiage you know be able to be articulate but being very you know selective about what I talk about and the way I, you know, I presented it within myself, you know, because there's just a lot of different things that we go through. It's not hard. I mean, it's very hard to separate ourselves from, you know, it, it gets hard on trying to heal. But these things, you know, and they, they had to be uncomfortable for you, you know, it had to be uncomfortable for you. And you'll be able to see the benefits off of that uncomfortability, being able to have to understand I had to be comfortable being uncomfortable. I had to be able to expect the unexpected, but being able to understand that, you know, ex uh, expected, being able to know I'm the truth of a plot twist that was not expected, you know, um, being able to know these things taught you and it taught you deep, deep, and it really has uh, given you strength in unknown ways that you never seen coming and they'll be in those different situations where I had to go through this man and really helped me know myself in a better way really helped me love myself in a better way being able to have my love myself where you know when you have confidence doesn't mean you're arrogant you know you're not negative but when you know your life is so strong and you really heal your heart anything that goes against that is not going to intimidate you it's not going to place you in shadow of a doubt when you can believe in yourself and a lot of times it's hard to believe in yourself when you're not under understanding the, the process of what's unfolding for you. you don't, you're not sure about what's going on around the corner, but you're allowing yourself to know something is taking place in my life that really, you know, it shifted, you know, it's really shifted and it'll allow me to appreciate, you know, everything I went through because it made me a better person. You know, being able to allow myself to forgive the people that are, you know, they did things that are very unforgivable. Um, being able to allow myself to keep reminding myself, don't take it personal. You know, these are the different things. It, this is not about them. It's about you, you know. So when we're going through all these different things, especially when we're going through the pandemic and all that stuff, it really allowed you to see different things in your life that was not easy to do. You know, being able to allow myself, am I connecting with somebody when I can have a, a conversation that be married, you know, be very intense? You know, why be able to allow that person to know how I feel without them using different things against me or being able to allow myself to empower myself on anything that comes in my way. And you're allowing yourself to be able to see that you can get on your own nerves at, at times and you're being able to, you know, allow yourself to not place yourself in that emotion because a lot of times we don't realize when we're, you know, constantly thinking about the most dark version of our lives that we're placing that on our person. You know, you're allowing yourself to believe in those things, which is illusion. You know, you're stepping out of that. You're stepping out of the matrix and you being able to see things in a different level, being able to understand this challenged me. It really did. And I hated it for it. But then it's just like it made me stronger. It made me see the different things in my life that I never seen possible. You know, being able to have the faith and trust in the process with, you know, God and what all his true intentions are. You know, he's closing doors within your life you're you're cutting ties of karmic vibrations you know allowing yourself to uh, not speak self-defeat into your life uh, being in that that situation where you're allowing yourself to really think before you know you do do your next moves because there'll be different things that I may do and I'm just like mm, don't do that that way or mm, you know, you should have cut that off or, uh, you know, you should have let that go. And those are the different things that are empowering you right now. So right now it's just like when you know, you know, time is precious. Even if that mess don't exist, it's precious. And you don't want to allow yourself to keep thinking, 
about the same things over again because it's allowing it to hurt you over and over again instead of saying, you know what, these are the different years that showed me in my life that who's for me and who's not for me, but I'll benefit them all in those different situations because it's like history is starting to repeat itself. You may start having people uh, reaching out to you and or God will put a test in, into your life where even though you've been through boundaries and stuff like that, you allow yourself to, you know, connect with your energy if this is the different things it's going to take me to a higher vibration. And when you're going through those different things in your life, it, it can be very uncomfortable, you know, but you have to be in accepting all, all the different things that's taking place in your life that really needed to be there. And for you to be able to do that, you're cutting away from anything that, you know, holds you back and is hindering you. And allowing yourself to understand that, yes, this is uncomfortable, but it's just like you're getting that clarity from those different things into your life where everything is starting to come up, where it's showing you this is where that healing needs to take place. This is where that cutting cords needs to take place. This is where the gratitude of uh, being grateful for everything that you have right now, knowing every, everything has a time, time um, period of expir um, exp expiration that... Um, you can really truly appreciate you know really really truly appreciate really looking back in my life and it's just like girl you are strong you are so strong for everything that you constantly dealing with and the things that was you know deprived of you or you know uh blocked or stolen from me these are the different things that i had to be able to go through because you you may be facing some real hard stuff right now you know and it's just like i never get a break and these are those different things where God wants you to see the best out of you from these situations. This is where it's giving you that um, vibration to be able to see the best in my life and being unapologetic for that. Anything that wants me to water my vibration or set me in a low uh, frequency it is not nurturing towards my soul. And I'm not allowing myself to do that. But then even a part of myself that's toxic. You know, a lot of times I don't want to talk to that person that negative. I don't want to talk to that person because it's triggering. And then it's just like, this is showing you where you need to heal, where you need to take your power back from, what you need to allow yourself to take place and uh, give that power back to that person and being able to show the real true benefits. And it's just like a lot of times when you lower, you know, your, your boundaries or uh, allow yourself to let anything happen uh, to let your guard down. A lot of times universal put you in a situation where it was very hurtful and it's like this is what's reminding you of why that boundary was up in the first place this is what uh, the situation has showed you where you're placing your power and your energy and things that are no longer serving you you know and when you're allowing yourself to know when you're taking your power out because a lot of times we can go through transition and not really understand is uh, these different things that's taking place in my life that I can really truly grow from you know, being able to be selective in all the different things that I go through and being able to appreciate those different things and being able to see myself, you know, this wasn't easy. Oh, it wasn't easy. You know, I had to be, really be able to face things that really tore me down or different things that really put me in my vibration where it made me feel insecure or made me doubt myself or maybe fear. And these are the different things where it's showing you those are the benefits of lessons that are showing you exactly where your focus needs to be on healing from that. And when you're doing all these different things, there's going to be a different time where you're going to level up and blessings going to come in your way. And there's going to be people that are going to admire you for what you're doing. People are going to appreciate you to show you the strength. It's like if this person can go through that and they can still try to have a smile on their face and being able to say, you know, not every day is a positive day for me. Not There will be different days where I'm stuck in confusion. There will be different days that I don't see where I can be at in life is that this situation where I'm in. And these are the different things where it's telling you change your verbiage, change your perspective, uh, being able to see things from a different, you know, seeing the bigger picture on those different things that's really truly creating strength from you. And you are uh, allowing yourself to be able to appreciate every single thing that's going past your way that's going to create better for you. And it, it makes you very victorious in so many vibrations into your life that it's just like this is the direct benefit that I had through these changes in life. Being able to forgive the unforgivable, being able to release myself from those burdens that clearly don't deserve my vibration. And um, knowing I, I matter in every, every aspect of my life, knowing I have a purpose here in life that's going to help change. You know, if you can just impact two or three people, that's like a, a huge blessing for you because you're allowing people to see 
you're not, you know, what's placed onto your life. You're not allowing that to hurt you. You're not allowing that to hem, um, hinder you. And it's, it's just like, what was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? I was on Instagram and uh, there was this girl, what was her name? Gina Two. I think that's where her last name, Gina Two. Um, and she's one of those, uh, I think she was an artist or anything like that, but she had uh, contracted AIDS and she didn't even know she had it. I think she said it was been a while since she went to the doctor or anything like that. And she started to notice her, you know, her weight drop drastically. And um, that, you know, you can't imagine yourself seeing yourself like that where it makes you feel like your world is ending because you contracted something like that. And it's just like when I seen her, she was a very beautiful person, very strong. You know, it's just, we have bad choices in our life and it's just like you can't uh, allow those different things to really affect you the way they do. And with her, you know, she, she was sitting up here saying that, um, you know, I don't have good days all the time. Not every day is poly, poly, uh, positive for me, but I have to be able to allow myself. I can make it through it, even though it's tearing me apart. It's helping me build myself up. And she said, I'm not allowing this to defeat me. And when you tell me, when, when I tell y'all, I almost cr I cried because there'll be a lot of different things in my life where I was really messed up and really, you know, allowing some. I kept giving my power to different pain. Uh, different people and all those different things and you don't know what God will hit you with You know what God will really hit you with into your life That's truly going to strengthen you. It's gonna hurt you and it was just like, you know I, I pray for her and now and she's because it, it was just like um, When she showed herself, you know in the hospital it was like I, I cried so hard for her and I felt so bad for her Because she was like 65 pounds and you know and she couldn't walk you know, she don't have control over her, you know, movements into her body, you know, using the bathroom and stuff like that. And um, it got to that point where she was so sick. You would think it was like, oh, they probably gave her pain meds. And she said, no, the illness was that bad. It, you know, my mobility on talking, it really wasn't, it, it was messing up between that communication. You know, you speak with your mind, you, you think with your mind and you express that. And it was like totally imbalanced for her. And she coming back. You know, she's coming back, you know, and it just hurt me uh, to see how people were coming at her, you know, and saying all these negative things, saying, oh, you done gave this to everybody, you done got mad and this and this and that. And I looked because I wanted to go ahead and comment on that because that mess really pissed me off with that person. And it's like you cannot sit up here and walk in people's shoes. You can't walk in people's shoes and tell them how to lace it. You can't come in on that chapter 20 where you're on that chapter 2. You don't know what that person is going through. You know, but I told that situation, it just really angered me. You, it's just like, how is she getting to everybody? She didn't know how she caught it, you know, and you, she, you can't dwell off of her poor choices because that's something she had to live with, which is also learning and appreciating at the same time. And it's just like, you know, I was saying that I was going to say, um, how do you know she's doing that? And it's just like, especially if she was doing that intentionally, you think she would get on, you know, uh, media, you know, social media telling people, hey, I have AIDS. You know, or hey, I got HIV, and it's just you know, and she's being real about that. Cause there's a lot of people in this world, a lot of people in this world that know they have different stuff like that, and uh, and will intentionally give people stuff like that. Like you're trying to blame people for your poor choices, so you're trying to make everybody change uh, life a living hell because of the poor choices you made. So there'll be different things out there, and I always told my daughters, you have to be careful with people. You don't know what their intentions are. They can be going through uh, a hateful vibration in their life, and they want to be able to connect with everybody um, in that li in that vibration that they're going through, based off of the things that they're facing at that time. So it's just like you know, I told them there's people out here that really can have those different things into their life and choose to pass that on to somebody else, based because they're you're angry and all those different things and you really don't know you have to be sure within yourself I always tell my kids protect yourself you know don't allow yourself to be sleeping with all these people you don't know what what their motive is you don't know if that person is healthy you don't know what kind of vibration they're projecting on you until it's too late so right now we're going through those different things and I you know I really pray for her it was like a lot of times you know I would think about her I still wonder how Gina's doing and it, it broke my heart but it also inspired me you know, inspired me as well as I admire her because it was like I go through a lot of things and you, you, you know, Universal always tell you there's always somebody 
going through the worst situation than you are. And I will be in that vibration. I said, I understand that. But I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about me, you know. And then allow yourself to put that self-pity into your life or, you know, allowing yourself to be victimized uh, within yourself. And it's just telling you stop putting yourself as a victim, regardless if it happened to you or not. This will be the exact same thing that's going to make you conquer. This is going to make you pros uh, prosperous. Um, if you haven't gone through those different things into your life, because it really ed educated you. So when you're allowing yourself to grow, and you, you know, you strengthen your boundaries, you know, I said that before, but the more you level up, there's more times you're going to have to add extra carry on those uh, vibrations, those those boundaries and stuff like that, where it's giving you those chances where, you know, you're going to heal from so many different things and people will come into your life and you really dig in that person. It doesn't have to be on a, a sexual relational, uh, all those different things, but it includes everybody. If you didn't go through these different things in life where it showed red flags, maybe you were that person that got comfortable with collecting flags. It used to be there. <laughs> you know, it's just like, and those are the different things where if you heal from certain things into your life and those actions start reminding you of some, someone else that you heal from, that gives you the heads up. Cut that uh, connection with that person. Draw yourself back. You know, place that boundary up. This is that thing. It's like, why would this person be able to remind me of that? Because it's showing you this is the pattern. You know, that that person is, you know, that they're really projecting towards you. You see that, you know, and you see how that other person did to manipulate everything into your life because they were unhappy with their own. You know, you're allowing yourself to cut that cord before it really begins. It ended before I allow it to begin, you know. And it will be those different things that you empower yourself from the choices you made, the poor choices, the good choices, and all that. So it was like when I saw her in that situation, it's just like, I, I don't know how I'll be able to do that. But a lot of times I, I'm like, you know, I used to get mad and I tell people all the time, oh, I can imagine what you're going through. No, you don't. You don't. No, you can't walk in my shoes and you sure enough can't lace them. So don't go through that route. But a lot of times you have to understand there's a lot of vibrations where, ooh, it makes you strong. Ooh, you sharing your experience. But a lot of times strength is all you have to hold on to, you know, and you will see it that way. But it's just not that. But you have ancestors. you got your guides, your archangels, uh, the spiritual um, <clears throat> unknown, all those different things. And these are those different things where it's empowering you. These are the different things that will take place where it's truly, truly uh, prosperous towards your way. And you'll be able to understand I'm being very selective. I'm allowing myself to even leave that door closed. Even when I'm uncomfortable, I can't fall back on my own ways, you know, especially if, you know, God don't release that out of your life. Don't allow yourself to consume that again. But being able to see those different things, I had to go through this and empower me. It gave me knowledge. It gave me wisdom. It's making me have a, a stronger approach on life within itself, you know, being able to see uh, things for what they truly are, you know, not getting caught up in the matrix and being able to understand, do you know you won? <laughs> you have won. Okay, regardless of what's going on, you have won. And the devil don't, devil's doing all he possibly can to convince you of otherwise. So it's telling you stay strong in your power. Cut unnecessary bridges into your life. Understand you didn't lose nothing that you needed. Even if there's different things where I cut off connection with people you truly love, if it's meant for them to be back in your life, they maybe had to go through their own healing journey while you're doing yours, you know. And we learn through those uh, different choices that we made and being able to make you choose better. So, you know, allow yourself to keep leveling up. Allow yourself to be even congratulating the little victories that's going on into your life because it's allowing you to place that self-love into yourself, you know. And it doesn't have to be the most biggest thing that has to be going on but it's like everything and these are the different things that's helping you strongly evolve you know and have a deeper understanding this is why I had to go through this is why you know the pain that brought me purpose this leave me first you know uh, infinite abundance prosperity and everything it's making me so much wiser so much stronger and you know being able to share that love and vibration to other people being able to be that person it's okay to let your armor off it's okay you can be vulnerable with me you know, um, we're all in this together. And it's just like when, you, when you're doing that, God, that's all God wants us to do is be able to move through positive uh, vibrations instead of allowing ourselves to constantly keep stepping back from the negative experiences we had. Being able to hold ourselves accountable, even for our own uh, toxic ways or, you know, placing suffering into our lives. Um, being able to take our power back from different things into your life and knowing you deserve better and you're making better choices 
from those harsh experiences you're going through. So you're burning a lot of bridges just so you don't have to go back over that mess and dealing with different BS into your life that clearly didn't deserve that. Not everybody deserves your energy. Not everybody deserves to be in that sacred place with you. But now you're being more selective of what you come into contact with. And this is the situation where God's going to see, now you understand why I put you through that. Now you understand your choices that you make. You have to be very strategic. You're allowing yourself to observe what is being shown to you. Because regardless of what anybody say, that energy is that that energy is being very real with you. And a lot of times people hate the fact that your your spirit will tell you, hey, mm -mm, don't let that person back in your life. You know, don't be a, don't, don't connect with something that God clearly tore apart. You know. Um, knowing if that, that was taken away that there's good that's coming into your life that they want to prepare you for and you want to be grateful for all those things and saying you know I'm glad you know I allowed myself to really cut ties with that because it kept me distracted on what I really needed to be focused on being able to understand is this a situation that is distracting me distorting me or is this a, you know a person is doing the same thing and being able to understand you cut yourself away from that, being able to control your emotions because that is what makes you truly dangerous is when you can allow yourself to not show your emotions, being able to tell people, don't think you know me. You know, just because you feel like you know me, you don't understand the real me. A lot of people know you, but they ain't going to understand you. You know, be different things into your life where it, it will try to connect with you from that person you used to be. And then when you allow yourself to be able to see those different situations um, that no longer serves you in that way, you know, you being able to appreciate all those different things that are taking place that truly inspired you to grow. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Jennifer uh, Chanley as well as Timberwolf. Much love to you. If you know you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you um, as much as you're getting to know me. Uh, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to understand why certain things came into your path, really trying to understand what's taking place into your life, you know, and just being able to discuss something with somebody that doesn't place judgment on your life. That's why I don't know why empaths you know, you get so many people to come to your way. It's like, I don't even know you. Why are you telling me all this? You know, and those are different things. You you may have had a question in your head, but just how you reply to that person, it gives you that exact answer that you were really truly waiting for or wondering about. So all those different things has taken place. So I love to be able to, you know, connect with people in those different ways because it's like a student teacher situation. We're both helping each other overcome something that was, you know, very hard for us to connect to. So we're sending different people into your life is going to bring that positive change so you know being able to be a part of that with somebody else is truly a blessing to me and I always love to be able to help out the best way I can you know whatever we discuss is already confidential um I leave different podcasts as well uh, as posts and different stuff to you know help help you remind you hey this is what's going on this is why you feel this way you know your body imbalance you're tired you're breaking out of rashes and all that different stuff you're going through very heavy uh, kundalini and ascension and stuff like that you know I talk about different things like that as well you know so if you're interested in that you can always go to my con uh, con what is it community I don't know I was saying content <laughs> community page be able to help like that if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation to the channel it's greatly appreciated cash app is in the description box below as well send so many different beautiful vibrations into your life that is truly needed you know you may be going through different things where you don't see the good coming out because you're so focused on the bad or you see the bad and you know i want to be able to send that love and lessons towards you or loving vibes to be able to empower you in every way possible so whatever you're needing um to be able to bring your reality of your dreams come true to fruition i'm sending that towards your way because you truly deserve it when you know you're working hard and it's hard to be able to see the fruit of your labor uh it is always preparing you for something greater that you never can comprehend so allow yourself to keep going be persistent and consistent you know be dedicated and motivated so you know the devil will do anything he possibly can to make you you know doubt everything that you know about yourself and that's why, that's why different things come into your way that will really allow you to understand the potential within yourself. So you be grateful for those different things. Don't allow a devil is a lie. Tell him to hit rocks without socks and go on about your business because he already sees that you have that potential. He just doesn't want you to discover that. So never sleep on yourself. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible every single thing you do. Um, being able to understand through the 
social distancing. Make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wise frequencies. You never know. Those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you did it with good intentions, it's going to take you even further. So much love to you. Shalom. Love and light. Uh, all upliftment towards your life. And God bless. And peace.